The journey of who we all are is an African story. Who first harnessed the power of fire? Who invented chemistry? Today we stand on the shoulders of our nameless African ancestors. We look onto the universe, galaxies beyond, searching for answers to the mysteries of life. As technology allows us to explore beyond planet Earth, it's important to realize that this innovation began in a small cave on the south coast of Africa. Professor Christopher Henschelwood and his team of South African and international scientists have uncovered a series of finds that have rocked the scientific world. In Blombos Cave and Clip Drift Shelter, they have found the oldest evidence in the world of complex chemistry, the world's oldest abstract art. They are brushing back time, opening the scientific time machine that tells the story of our greatest human secret. After 100,000 years ago, there's this almost explosion of changes in technology, of changes in symbolic material culture, of a whole slew of inventions that were not present before 100,000. So, if you can store information outside of the human brain, you don't have to say anything. You can look at somebody, you can look at what they're wearing and understand who they are, or what message they're trying to get across to you. That is the basis of all our writing today. It's the basis of our computers today. It's the basis of every single thing we use to symbol today. That is what this is all about. And all of this took place right here in this region 100,000 years ago. It's the beginning of all art. It's the beginning of all science. It's the beginning of all technology. It's the beginning of very strong uh, social systems as well. This super-rich environment, mostly disease-free, developed a robust, strong people, masters of natural survival. They invented high-tech weaponry to hunt animals on land. For the first time, they learned to intimidate big predators. And finally, the age of exploration had begun. I am absolutely sure these people were very well adapted to marine environments and to water. It certainly seems like the people who lived at Blombos and who lived at Clip Drift were very adept at uh, exploiting the marine environment and certainly going into the water, probably diving in the water uh, quite freely and, and, and quite happily. These first people learned to wade, swim and eventually to dive, drawn to the places where the largest seafood lived. Born here were the world's first swimmers and divers, aquanauts of the underwater forests of Africa. The critical ingredient that led to these innovations was time. Because this unique place provided food and survival in a few short hours of the day, leaving so much time to invent and explore time to become us. Every one of us are related to one another. There is no such thing as race. There is no need for xenophobia. We should pull together, we should work together, because we are one group of people who've come from this region, who've been responsible for these incredible developments you know, 100,000 years ago, who've been a part of this whole story of, of humans of human evolution, of human development, of human intelligence, of overcoming enormous obstacles and hurdles to get through that 100,000 years to become who we are today. Only now can the time machine of paleoscience finally and accurately put a face to those nameless Africans who invented the first art, science and technology, the genesis of everything we use today. This was the greatest turning point in the entire history of humanity. The time machine will reveal the detailed story 
of the greatest innovations our species has ever known. It will change the way we see ourselves, breaking preconceptions and lighting new ways to collaborate as one united species. Thank you.